Hello and welcome to the ISC 11 Maths tutorial. Today's topic is limits of trigonometric functions. Before we start, शुरू करने से पहले आइए एक शायर की दो लाइन सुनिए दो उर्दू के वर्ड्स हैं उनकी मीनिंग सुने सुरखरू सक्सेसफुल और है ना मतलब मेहंदी शायर कहता है सुरखरू होता है इंसान सुरखरू होता है इंसान ठोकरें खाने के बाद रंग लाती है हिना पत्थर पे घिस जाने के बाद थैंक यू ओके सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज लिमिट्स ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस दीज आर दूमूलाज सम फॉर्मूलाज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला इज लिमिट थीटा टेंडिंग टू जीरो साइन थीटा अपॉन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन सी हाउ वी रीड लिमिट थीटा टेंस टू जीरो और लिमिट थीटा टेंडिंग टू जीरो साइन थीटा अपॉन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूला लिमिट थीटा टेंडिंग टू जीरो थीटा अपॉन साइन थीटा इज ऑल्सो वन नेक्स्ट लिमिट थीटा टेंडिंग टू जीरो टैन थीटा अपॉन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट लिमिट थीटा टेंडिंग टू जीरो कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन लिमिट थीटा टेंडिंग टू जीरो साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो these are some formulas which we are going to use in this chapter and uh, see i have taken here theta 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 you may write down x so limit x tending to 0 sin x upon x is equal to 1 i mean if this is theta 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 if this is x x x if this is 2x 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 if this is alpha 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 okay please understand <laughs> this is the main thing important thing okay now the first question that I have taken is uh, uh, limit x tending to zero sine two x upon x. See the question on this thing. Okay. So limit x tending to zero sine two x upon x. We are going to use the formula limit theta tending to zero sine theta upon theta. So limit x tending to zero sine two x upon x. what we see here theta 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 so it, if it is 2x so this should also be 2x and this should also be 2x isn't it later 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 i'll tell you that here even if you are not writing 2x then also it's okay but i'll explain to you i have written here i have written here okay but as of now if we have we have 2x here also we should have 2x and here also we should have 2x then only no 2x 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 theta 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 okay fine so we can make this as 2x by multiplying by 2 so we are multiplying the denom denominator by 2 in order to keep the value of the expression unchanged because we cannot change the value of the expression no? the given expression we cannot change so if we are if we are multiplying denominator we have to multiply the numerator also okay so 2 2 Fine. Now this two we want because we want sine theta upon theta, sine two x upon two x. Same, two x upon two x, theta upon theta, three x upon three x like that. Okay. So now what I am doing? This two we are keeping aside, and limit x tending to zero, sine two x upon two x. Fine. Now if you want to write down two x, you can write down, but it's not required. you may give this reason you may give this as explanation see as x approaches 0 to x approaches 0 isn't it yeah if x approaches 0 to x also approaches 0 so if you are writing this much this reason here and if you don't write down here 2x approaches 0 then also it's fine all right so as x approaches 0 to x approaches 0 that means it goes without saying that here we are taking we suppose that this 2x right 2x approaches 0 and the formula is limit theta tending to 0 sin theta upon theta is equal to 1 right so limit theta tending to 0 sin theta upon theta is equal to 1 again don't get confused 
if I'm calling this theta, this is theta, so do, then you'll be wondering why, why don't we have here theta, means 2x, yeah it is 2x, as x approaches 0, 0, 2x also approaches 0, correct, so we are giving reason, fine, though we are not writing here, it, it's okay, absolutely fine if you don't write down here, but you may give reason here, so as x approaches 0, 2x also approaches 0, 2x approaches 0, and now limit theta tending to 0 sine theta upon theta is equal to 1, Okay, so this whole thing will be 1. This whole thing will be 1. Fine? 1. 2 as it is multiplied by 1. So 2 on the 2. 2 is the answer. Okay? Reason I have given here, see? In red. So please do write down the reason formula that you are using. Second question is the homework. You can see on the screen. Easy question. Please try to solve. Now, now see question number three, third question. See again on this screen. Okay, the question is limit x approaches zero, limit x tending to zero, limit x limit x tends to zero, sine ax upon sine bx. Alright, let's see. Limit x approaches 0, sin x upon x. I am making sin theta upon theta, right? Suppose in our case, in place of theta, we have ax. So sin theta upon theta means sin ax upon x. So we are dividing by x. Alright, alright. So this is extra. ax we are writing, right? ax. Now limit extending to 0. This is 1 upon sine bx, right? So 1 upon sine bx and here we are multiplying by bx because we want theta upon sine theta, theta upon sine theta we want, right? So here we are, we are multiplying by bx and we are dividing by ax because we want sine ax upon x and we want bx upon sine bx, right? So I have, I have written separately, sine x and sine x separate and 1 upon sine bx separate. So in 1 upon sin bx, I am multiplying by bx and dividing by bx. And here I am dividing by ax and multiplying by x. So multiplying by x and dividing by x. So we can do that. The value of the expression remains unchanged because we are multiplying by the same number, numerator and denominator both. So multiplying by x, dividing by x. Multiplying by bx, dividing by bx. Right. Now this is of the form sin theta upon theta, which we wanted sin theta upon theta, sin ax upon ax, same way. Alright, limit x tending to 0, sin ax upon ax. The same reason again, here you can write down reason. Reason you should write down here. What will you write down? You write down as x approaches 0, as x approaches 0, ax approaches 0. Because here you have ax. Here you had 2x. So you wrote 2x approaches 0. Here you have ax, so you write down as x approaches 0, ax approaches 0, comma, then this formula. Limit theta tending to 0, sine theta upon theta is equal to 1, right? So please do write down the reason. Right? This entire thing, entire thing here, please write down. Fine. Now limit theta tending to 0, sine theta upon theta, this is 1. Limit theta tending to 0, limit x tending to 0, limit x tending to 0 x upon sin x or limit bx tending to 0 bx upon sin bx we are using this formula limit theta tending to 0 theta upon sin theta so limit theta tending to 0 theta upon sin theta all right in place of theta we though we are not writing bx but we are mentioning here as as x approaches 0 bx approaches 0 so bx approaches 0 though we are not writing so limit theta tending to 0, theta upon sine theta is 1, theta upon sine theta is 1. So this is 1, this is 1, 1 multiplied by 1, multiplied by, now see this, this x, uh, this x and this x, they cancel each other, they cancel each other, x, x cancel each other and then you get a upon b, so a upon b, right? Now 1, 1 multiplied by a upon b, that means a upon b. So a upon b is the answer, I hope things are clear. Fine. Now, in the end, 
स्मॉल जोक एक रिश्तेदार बच्चे से पूछता है बेटा बड़े होकर के जिंदगी में क्या करोगे तो लड़का क्या कहता है बच्चा क्या कहता है अंकल कुछ भी करूंगा मगर जिंदगी में किसी के घर जाकर उनके बच्चों से इस तरह के सवाल कभी नहीं करूंगा <laughs> ओके खुश रहिए हंसते रहिए थैंक यू थैंक्स